M0FXB Radtail RT950 model. I'll also be testing the Pro, but this is the 950 standard model. Still an excellent device. We've got good news. The APRS is working receive and transmit. We do have a GPS lock and we've got an external antenna connected. We've programmed a memory tunnel of just 144800 here. And if I and I've also set the bottom button, the PF2 button. If we just go to menu, go to key define, like so, enter user key and P PF2 and I beacon TX. Okay, now there is an auto TX built into the new, and I have just made a video adding the latest firmware, which on the non pro model is 250911, on the, the pro model. It's going to be 250908, just looking at my notes. So if I just, I will show you the APRS settings on here and I'm going to show you my, my code play, you know, the software, the new CPS and the CPS I'm using is 1.16 on the Pro. It's, have a look, ends 910, so it is slightly different. The Pro model allows CB transmit and also allows upper sideband, lower sideband when you go into radio mode. So let me just quickly show you, we've got this here, we've got the APRS turned on on my FT3D and I'm just going to press the transmit and you can see it's received there and if I go into, and you can see, see that it's, it's receiving pop-ups as well from external, so you know from APRS DigiPeters transmitting, um, that was a local transmission, if I just press the FN and go to list here and tap it. Or we'll select it. You'll see that has come from this device, okay? This says motorbike, but look, it says ham tech. I did put a message in there. And look, it's actually getting, you know, location, information, speed, whatever you set really, but it's getting the location from my GPS from this device here. Now, you know when you've got a GPS lock because it goes white, not red. So if you go menu, like so and then we're going to go across to APRS set select and then we're going to select again and you can see I've, I've gone up and down with the up and down arrow on and go back GPS is select on back and I've got a position one here where you can change the type of you know position parameters time zone I've left it at zero for now distance, altitude, speed, that's all the stuff that you can set. Beacon setup, call sign, you've got to put in your M0FXB. Type as normal and use the hash to change the ABC to numbers. Select OK. Don't. If you press the back button, you might delete something. So press OK or when you go down to SSID, I've got number five, press OK. Choose path. This is what always works for me. Wide one, wide two. Confirmed. And then I'm going to show you the other ones. You see that? And I didn't change that one, I'll be honest. Confirmed. Although it, it is on the software. So I'll show all that on the software. Source position. Ah, this is where you can decide if you want fixed or GPS. So if you don't want to faff around waiting for the GPS locks, it won't transmit. <laughs> If it hasn't got a lock, so you might want to select fix position there. That's Are come out you? of my thing. It's a bit annoying. <laughs> APRS. Uh, da, 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 da. And this is where you can choose. Let's go back into GPS, like so. So you're seeing all the settings there. Now, beacon setup. If you go down, there was a thing there where you could decide. Mike E, there's the message that I put in. Message edit, and there it is Hamtech. <laughs> okay. I think I've shown you everything. It does transmit from the A to the B, so sort of like a, a repeater. It's like a, its own little repeater. Well, I'll show you. I'll show you that in a separate video. Advance. APRS tech TX delay. Now the big important one is the receive pop-up. You definitely want that. The ringer, mm, it's on. Okay. 
Uh, receive pop up. I'm coming now. Someone calling me there. Clear your beacons. It's got TNC. I definitely want to have a go at that. So, okay. So, I think that's working fine. And if we just press that again. And it's, it's come through. And you can see it receiving those pop ups. I want to find the receive list. Uh, I haven't found it yet. Let's have a look. Let's go to have a quick look. APRS set user Bluetooth. Of course, you can program by Bluetooth. Signaling is CTCSS. Settings, beep, backlight. Just basic settings, really. You can reset it. And there's my firmware, which is it says on the radio 025. Uh, but it's actually 0259 something. 11, I think. APRS set. So, all right, okay. So I'm now going to show you the actual software, it is receiving those packets and it's sending a position out. So to me, it's working, yeah? I think it's working, yeah? All that information. So APRS to me is working. And I'm gonna show you the software because it's actually a lot easier to put all that in using the software. Uh, the key thing is it won't, if you set the button to transmit and it doesn't transmit, remember, you either need a GPS lock or you need to program a fixed position because otherwise it's gonna say, I'm not gonna transmit. Okay, so over to the CPS. I'll put a link in for you to download it. This is version 1.16 for the non-pro version. So to set up the channel, nice and easy, just click here and put in 144800 in the UK. I think it's 390 in the USA. And uh, that's pretty much all you have to do. Give it a name and yeah, FM. Okay, set the power that you want. Then go to file at the top, go across, edit and go down to APRS info. And these are the settings that I have put in. And they are tested and working. So APRS switch on, GPS is on, because we're using GPS. You do need a lock or it won't transmit, and I've said that 10 times. APRS uh, decode prompt. And there are a couple more settings on this than there are on the radio. So anyway, on, uh, pop-up on, beacon type, I told it to manually send. OK, but you can schedule a beacon when you schedule. If you choose schedule, you just choose the time here. But we haven't done that. I haven't changed the mic E thing. It says off duty there. TNC, we're definitely going to learn about what we can do with that. I've got a, a TNC device here, the Kenwood D75. So I need to learn and work out how we can uh, use that. Maybe it's a wired connection. But anyway, more to learn. APRS forward channel, I've, I've chose A and B. APRS forward routing, I put wide one, wide two. APRS weight forward at the moment is zero. And it, I noticed, I think it is forwarding because I've noticed there's a little transmission after. So um, maybe you don't need that, but I've still got it there for now. Custom routing says wide one, SSID says one there. Tight it. So you've got some custom routing here, which I, you know, they're there, but I haven't changed that. Uh, call sign here, send cu custom messages on, and there's the custom message there that I put in, ham tech, and um, I could add, just go to space M zero F F X B, uh, da -da, data TX, APRS priority. So it looks like the, if you're on the radio, ham radio, that that will have priority over APRS. Uh, user defined icon it says house or oh, bicycle. I wonder why it said bicycle. What else can I choose? Um, I think I'll leave the bike for now. <laughs> SSID time zone altitude in meters, distance in mile, speed. Might as well put a mile there, degrees, and that's it. And if I you go, know, you write that to the radio. And just push that cable in tight. Otherwise, if you're having a problem. And also, I've made a video on firmware. Don't worry if the firmware goes wrong. You won't brick the radio. Otherwise, look, if you're going to add a repeater, and just switch across. It's really easy. Look, 145600, 145000, that's the shift. You don't do plus and minus on the software. The tone, just on transmit, where it says TX. Uh, you set your power, put your name here. Choose AM or FM. And that's it. I mean, it's that simple. And you've got a whole settings there, haven't you? Let's go to, where is it? 
No, that's a serial port when you select your COM port you click OK COM3 when you plug in the cable uh, optional features that's pretty much just settings just mm -hmm. here and you all the usual squelch and you can set the spectrum scope as well there's your GPS is all the buttons here one to the nine then your PF2 long and short you've got here um, work area Cure work area FM. So I think the next video I'm going to do is have a go at doing this repeater where it's sort of you transmit on, you know, you key the mic on two meters and then it sort of retransmits it on, say, 77. So I'm going to have a go at that next, I think. Um, so thanks for watching and hope this helps. Bye for